2018 GMC 2500 Duramax Denali. Sorry to piss me off. I've been dealing with that low coolant light ever since I got the forking truck. And uh, I've had to keep the reservoir filled way up just to keep the light off. Um, even now, I'm at 70,000 miles. It keeps coming back on, even when it's full. I got a deaf fluid light that won't go away. Um, if I hit a bump on a dirt road, stability track light comes on. It's like, come on, dude. I'm at 70,000 miles. I'm done with this shit. So I... Uh, Ended up ordering a brand new Ford F-250 King Ranch diesel with the Tremor package. They said that was going to be uh, 10 weeks to 5 months or something. So I might get it by Thanksgiving or maybe by uh, Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll see. And then I saw this news pop up, the GM's coming out with the refreshed Sierra. And I'm like, oh, you know, did I miss out on something here? Should I, should I have waited? Should I jump over the Ford? I'm not expecting Ford to be any better, by the way. I'm just pissed off I got 70,000 miles on this thing. And I, was, every day I got some kind of check engine light, coolant lights, the bill of track. It's like, Jesus Christ, it's not even four years old. It's 70,000 miles, and it's time for something new. And then, you know, if you read about some of the stability of track stuff, it can, like, just shut your whole car off. Like, I don't want nothing to do with that, man. So my dumb ass went out and... Uh, ordered a $90,000 King Ranch. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But I wanted to take a look here to see what I might have been missing out on. The thing is, like, the last three trucks I've had have all been GMC. So I, I just... Time for something new. I didn't want to do a Dodge. No offense to the Dodge people. I just never... We're never a big fan of them for some reason. Um, here we got the Denali Ultimate, which I think I already have that package. Like, what is the AT4X going to get you here? Um, you know, dual... Well, this is part of this. You're going to get dual projector LED lamps, animated lighting. I don't care about this shit. New paint colors. I mean, uh, you know, they're doing the multi-pro tailgate stuff, which, I, you know, they're kind of... I feel like the stuff I got on the Ford, there was a lot more thought put into the Ford. In terms of extras, obviously it costs more. And... Uh, you know, all the little tricks and features are going to get more stuff. I, I felt like GMC is way behind. So we're going to get a six-function multi-pro tailgate. I don't really care about that. I don't use it for that. I just do some towing. Uh, premium interiors. I mean, GMC interiors are always kind of lack. That's why I like the King Ranch. It's something different. I feel like you got something better. Refresh Edition has an all-new 13.4-inch infotainment. I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's a, a deal breaker for me. I don't know if I care that I missed out that much. The Ford screen is still a pretty good size. but And I don't know if you, if you drive a GMC or a Chevy Silverado now. Like, the screen wasn't very large. I also don't like the Tesla bullshit where they just slap a giant LCD. I feel like I got a you know 18-inch Samsung TV in the middle of the dash and a Tesla. I just think I don't like it in terms of style it's a, a very cheap and easy way to just throw something in there it lacks originality and i live in michigan in the winter you wear gloves i like knobs things i can control without taking my gloves off um i also do a little bit of work in the music industry and i just like no knobs and sliders it's uh, something i enjoy i don't want to touch screen everything but it is cool that they're finally bumping that screen size up uh, google services don't Particularly give a shit about that. Um, the Nally Ultimate, I'm assuming that's not even a Duramax, 80,000. So you're going to be up around 90,000 with the Duramax. Welcome to inflation. AT4X is going to be 74. What's a Denali Ultimate get us here, though? Super Cruise, I don't really care. Um, so I, I, before this truck, I had one of these Denali 6.2 uh, trucks. And it was pretty quick. I did enjoy that before I switched over to the Duramax. But it's still at 620 horsepower. It's, uh, how many years ago? It's, how many years has that thing been out? You know, get that thing up to 475, get it up to 500 horsepower. Us truck people, you can pretty much never give enough horsepower and we will always overpay for that shit. 
Uh, what else you get? Dark chrome, 22 inch wheels. Those are probably pretty cool until you blow one out, which I have, and they're really forking expensive. Full grain leather. Man, it sounds like maybe they're going to get their uh, interior game together a little bit. I will say they've always been lacking on the interiors. But overall, there's not enough changes for me to feel like I'm missing something. So, what do we get on the AT4X? Premium interior, advanced off road capability. But what, what does that mean exactly? Front and rear electronic lockers, cool. One pedal crawling, that's great. Not doing a lot of rock crawling in Michigan. Uh, comes with the standard 6.2. What else? Would we give me something else. All right, spool valve dampers and springs. Increase maximum front. And All right, so we got a little more travel. Um, two speed transfer case. We got rear e locking. Nice. Dirt track mud tires. What about the lift? Do you not get any kind of lift? Throw Here's my thing. These fake ass off road packages. Even even on the Ford Tremor, it's okay, but. Throw me two inches of lift, right? Throw a block in the back. You know, give me a little bit of a level on the front. Give me some 35s. Um, give me something from the factory that just separates a truck from your, you know, the average, you know, model truck. Where I don't have to go down, you know, here in Michigan, you go hit Mumbley's. You go get, you know, a level kit. I did on my Duramax. I actually did that. Um, Fox coilover kit. I got rid of the torsion bars. So I got coilovers in the front of me. Duramax 2500. Um, so I can drive really fast on a dirt road like an asshole and not have the front drift all over the place. But like, give me a couple inches of lift. Give me some 35s. Give me something that's a little more custom than some badges and some exterior bullshit. And that's my general complaint about most of the OEM trucks. You know, the Raptor was nice. They obviously did something above average on the Raptor. But, you know, Give me something between a regular truck and a Raptor, right? And I'm not buying a Raptor until they put a V8 back in the fucking thing. But again, I don't. There's nothing that exciting that I feel like I'm missing here, GM. It's uh, more of the basic stuff that you're probably way overcharging for. You know, the other issue, <clears throat> even on the Tremor, on the Tremor package on the the 250 diesel, you know, the uh, payload capacity comes down, towing comes down. You know, my towing's quite a bit more than 8,900, thankfully. Um, obviously, it's a 20, it's a 250 with a diesel, so it's going to do a little bit more than 6.2, 1,500. But, um, you know, when you do the aftermarket, not the aftermarket, but when you do that off-road suspension and you start changing things, you do drop the payload and towing capacity, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I don't know, man. I'm, uh, I'm curious to get the Ford in. I'm, uh, I'm tired of check engine lights. I've had enough of them. You know, I got my own scanner. I try to fix as much of the shit as I can myself. Um, you know, my, my uh, I think one of my check engine lights right now has to do with the DEF fluid. I, use, I used to use the uh, blue DEF, which was fine, and then they changed the formula. And now it's um, platinum blue DEF or some shit, and the price went way up, but... I grabbed a box from AutoZone or something, and I poured that in, and of course, 1,000 miles in, you know, goddamn light comes out. You know, blame it on me. I didn't use a GM spec. But every time I go to the GMC dealer and tell them to fill my tank up, they just have a bad habit of charging me for it and not actually putting the fluid in the tank, so I stopped doing that. Um, tired of seeing stability track errors, tired of seeing cooling errors, which I think if you look on the Duramaxes now, they actually moved where the overflow is for the... Radiator, so obviously they, obviously I'm guessing they had a problem with that, and that's why they relocated the box, uh, the tank, anyways. So, anyways, I thought this news come up. A few of you following my uh, YouTube channel here know I've been talking about trucks and buying a new truck, and um, yeah, I don't feel like I missed out on anything. I think I'm uh, happy to find out what the Ford F250 uh, trimmer looks like, King Ranch. Still don't know why I bought a King Ranch, but. One of those things I always wanted, I always wanted like a limited explorer way back in the day, and I can't figure that shit out either. I never bought one, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> the, big, the big question is, do I get the truck closer to 10 weeks or closer to the five months? With the way supply chain issues are going and sensors and everything in this world, I think I might be lucky to get it by summer. But check back in on my channel. As soon as I get the uh, truck, I will 
I will post an initial review because I've been driving GMs for 10 plus years. And uh, just sitting in the Ford, it def the, the dash felt higher, the roof felt taller, it felt a little wider. Like it just, it definitely had a different feel to it. So I'll post my initial impressions of the truck uh, as soon as I get it. But as I can tell from now, looking at the uh, news from GMC here, I don't think I'm missing much. But if you have any thoughts on the truck market, drop me a comment below. I'd be curious to see what you have to say. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one.